from Boston. Wendy, what update did Eric Spolstra have on Tyler Hero? Yeah, so Tyler Hero went through a light workout this morning, which is moving in the right direction because he hasn't been able to do much the last few days. But Spo said that he's still trying to convince the trainers and Spolstra himself that he can be able to play tonight. Now, the last two games without Hero, and I know Hero hasn't shot the ball well recently, without that firepower off the bench, he averaged 21 points in the regular season. The Heat have struggled to score so much, Max. They barely broke 80 the last two games. I don't know what Hero would be able to give on that groin injury, but he is going to try to test it out again before the game and play. The rest of the Heat players who are questionable, including Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, Max Struess, P.J. Tucker, I could go on, are expected to give it a go. How effective they'll be, I guess we'll watch and find out. So on the offensive end, with I mean, Jimmy Butler is just a different guy now. He was like the best player in the playoffs, and he gets hurt, and now he's a different guy. And Tyler Hero really can't help him out. Kyle Lowry, because of the hamstring, struggling to help him out. What about defensively? How is Robert Williams, who's made an enormous difference when he's on the floor, dealing with his lingering injury heading into tonight? Yeah, so he is questionable with the bone bruise in his left knee. It is going to probably be a closer to game time decision. They are hoping he will be able to play. He's been able to play the last few games. And, Max, I don't think Robert Williams is going to win the first annual Larry Bird Award for MVP of this series. But you could make a case for it because in the, three, in the four games that he's played, Bam Adebayo has averaged 11 points and gotten up eight shots. The one game he didn't play, Bam Adebayo got up 22 shots and scored 31 points in the game that the Heat won. Williams has been a complete difference maker at the defensive end in this series. And so if he is expected to be able to go tonight, even if he's still not 100%, he is a major factor, uh, especially as the Heat tried to struggle in a struggle through scoring in that half court. Patrick Beverly, do you see two media guys giving a defensive player like Robert Williams all the love? Look at this. I think it's the only reason you guys are doing it because I'm up here. <laughs> I don't think this is a maybe. A, I don't think this is a natural human instinct that you guys want to do. I, got, I think you guys are forced to do it because I'm sitting right next to you. But oh, it's because it. of what his presence has meant for no, Bam, true. right? No, it's true. It's true. He Rob Rob been playing his butt off. Same agent, same agency. Shout out Rob. Shout out Rep One. So he's been he's been killing it. Uh, like we we spoke about early, um, health is always important. Um, but if you coach Spo, what do you do? Do you do you sit guys because, you know, they're, they're, they're hurting the team? Do you, oh. are, are, as a player, do you, do you keep fighting through? Uh, you know, like, what is the, the fine line with that? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, as a player, if I'm hurt, I want to keep, keep playing, but I don't want to play at the expense for the team. That's interesting because you're like a mind over matter, like, will guy, yeah. right? But at a certain point, you heard what Wendy just said. Every, Jimmy Butler and yeah. Tyler Hero and, 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 and Kyle Lowry, who helps out. Bam out of bye, right? Like, all these guys are hurt. Just, is it too much for them to overcome? I think so. And, and, and we talked about this, I don't know, a week and a half ago. And I, uh, you know, in the beginning, I had Miami winning this. But um, after all the injuries, and obviously, not, not to discredit Boston, but what Boston's been doing defensively, I mean, you have to lean towards Boston right now. Uh, they're like, a, you know, Miami's in the water right now, and Boston see blood. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN+.